I spotted a common snap. <laughs> So I've tried to start this video several times, but I just never have enough footage no matter what I do. I'll always find like one snake or one turtle per trip and it's just not enough for a cohesive video. So you'll probably be getting a lot of assorted clips for this video. So just bear with me here. All right, I think we're recording. I spotted a common snapping turtle. <laughs> So here is an eastern box turtle. First one of these guys I've seen in a week or two actually. It's been a while. I'm gonna pick him up real quick and say hi. Looks like a pretty old one. It's a male, got the concave shell. Pretty big turtle actually. Well, I guess I'll go ahead and stop bothering him and let him on his turtley way. Goodbye, sir. So I don't want to brag, but that was a pretty decent snake spot, if I do say so myself. Let's, let's move a little closer and investigate. And I don't plan to mess with him too much. I just want to get a better look. All right, he moved. Oh. Plop. Did you see the little kerplop? He's in the water somewhere now. I don't see him. Probably went up under the bank if I had to guess. That was kind of unusual for a cottonmouth. They're typically not that, not that flighty. They'll really usually hold their ground until they're 100% sure you've spotted them. And he fled when I was pretty far away. So a reminder to stay on your toes. Snakes can be unpredictable. All right, I think we're recording. I've just spotted a pretty sizable cottonmouth here. He sees me. His head is towards the left side of the coil and he's right there on that little massive vegetation. And a pretty typical looking spot for a cottonmouth. And he's pretty big, you know? It's not a bad size at all for a cottonmouth. He might, he might get out of here. Dang, son, there he goes. <laughs> They're so fat. It's just like a massive three foot slug sliding off of the, off of the sticks. Now I bet you he's buried himself in there and is kind of waiting just at the water level. So that's probably the last we'll get to see of him. Which is fine. I'm not going to try and provoke him out of there or anything. I'm content to just let him about his day. So that was a fun little encounter. Here is yet another cottonmouth. This makes three for the trip. And provided he doesn't move, I'll bust out the GoPro and get some close-up shots. Because I can't really walk close to him through all that. Hopefully he doesn't move before I can get super close. It's kind of treacherous going through these sticks. But there he is. He's a little bigger than I, than I at first thought. Oh, there he goes. Goodbye, sir. So that's three cotton mouths for the trip. Here's a pretty large cotton mouth sitting in a pretty photogenic spot. That's a great little pose he's got. I'm gonna try and get closer and see if I can't photograph him without him doing some wild crap and trying to, to get away. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna cut the camera real quick and make sure I'm not stepping on anymore. So here's a, a closer view of this here cotton mouth. 
he's looking a little tense, like he's getting ready to go somewhere. And that's, that's fine. I'll just let him be right there and wish him a good day. And this will bring our total of snakes up to four, all of them being cottonmouths. All right, I think we, we ought to be recording on this GoPro. Spotted a black racer coiled on the side of the trail. He's going. So am I. Oh, dang it. He's so fast, bro. Where is he? Bro, he is so fast. No idea where he went. It happens. It was a valiant effort. I was just too slow. Well, maybe next time. So all in all, a pretty successful little creek walk. Five snakes total. There were four cottonmouths and one black racer, which got away. So, not quite enough for a video, but we'll get something out of it. We're gonna be out here doing another creek walk because road cruising, flipping, and hiking on land have not been very productive lately. So this is kind of our last resort. So this is funny. This is completely as found. I thought it was a slider at first, but nope. That is an Eastern box turtle floating downstream. Like he's not swimming, he's floating. What is happening? This is madness. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I can't believe I'm seeing this. Definitely an atypical look for the box turtles around here. Like this is so bizarre. He has no control of where he's going. He is just floating downstream. I mean, I'm sure he's he's got a plan here. We'll just see where he goes. He's moving now. He's really moving. <laughs> he's going over the rapids. All right, I'll just leave him to it. Dang, he's floating. Is he gonna land? It looks like he's trying to land over here. Yeah, he's, he's found shore. Well, Good luck to you, sir. So here is a cod mouth a couple minutes after that box turtle. Uh, I'm gonna get a little closer of a look at him. I'm gonna see if I can't pull him out onto the shore there. And say hi, oh, he's going. <laughs> we might not get to say hi. He seems like a paranoid fellow. Nope. <laughs> not today. He's too fast for me. I am but a mere mortal.